Okay, most important, important among the uh, flukes are uh, really the schistosomes and beef flukes and the um, fish, uh, t uh, fish flukes as well. Okay, schistosoma is the, um, has got three different varieties of um, flukes. They are either, flukes are sort of leaf-like organisms. Um, the, the schistosomes, they are sort of flat and long, narrow leaves, whereas the other flukes are more sort of um, uh, oval leaves. Um, there are three different uh, um, genera that cause human disease, mansonite, hematobium, and japonicum. Now, schistosoma, uh, and then, you know, the other flukes are Fessiolopsis buscae, that is the um, okay. Then Fessiola hepatica, liver fluke. That's the normal. Um, you must have all uh, seen that pictures of it and read about it in uh, biology. The Opisthocus sinensis. They, they are uh, in the fish flukes and. Canines, or like um, um, cats in this case, or dogs in that case, uh, are reservoir for that. Um, we'll talk if we get time. And then there is a lung fluke that is clinically important. I don't think we'll have time to cover them all. And I was mentioned to one of you earlier, it is believed that Napoleon's army in North America and Africa was not defeated by the enemy, but by the infestation of um, his soldiers with schistosomal infections. So it is prevalent, it's endemic in the uh, northern parts of Africa. As you can see here, it's the central, southern, as well as northern part. Some part of schistosomal monsoni is also found in South America, and then Japonicum is around that area here. Morphologically, it's a leaf-like, and they are separate, male and female, but they live attached to each other. Um, the life cycle, humans get infected by when they are bathing or swimming in water that has, um, that is infested with, that, with uh, these flukes. Um, the intermediate host, the uh, very obligate uh, intermediate host is um, certain species of snails. So freshwater snails are necessary uh, m a component of um, for, for maintenance of these um, flukes. Um, the humans are infected by these larval forms, um, cysticercii, no, not cysticercii, uh, myrcidia, and um, um, they, they penetrate this skin, and from there they migrate to either in the connective tissue of the um, intestine or the connective <coughs> tissue of bladder or um, uh, blood vessels and produce uh, symptoms related to that. In the case of the skin, they will cause dermatitis, uh, the inflammation of the skin, uh, itching, uh, is referred to as swimmer's itch. So a history of uh, taking ba ba bathing in f some fresh water reservoir um, in the infested areas and having itching um, skin is a sort of clue to schistosomal infection. Uh, and that is the, the, these symptoms are due to the toxic material um, that is component, those are components of the um, parasite and the skin damage. GI tract, if they go into the gastrointestinal uh, tissue, abdominal pain, ascites, diarrhea, and bloody stool. And that is caused by 
the Sister Soma Mansonai and Sister Soma Japonicum. By contrast, Sister Soma Hematobium causes, um, affects the um, uh, blood vessels around the um, bladder or uh, bladder it's tissue itself. And um, this will result in chronic cystitis and urethritis. And that it will lead to granulomas, um, granulomatous fibrosis, the fi uh, granuloma production, and um, do, that is due to a reaction to the eggs. The body reacts to the eggs, and there's inflammatory response and causes fibrosis of those um, tissues. And um, as a matter of fact, this is one of the major causes of bladder cancers in people from infested areas like Egypt and Ethiopia, Sudan, those, those countries. It, uh, you know, it will cause the uh, uh, Mansonai and Japonicum will cause ascites as well, inflammatory reaction to the um, organism. This is a picture taken from New England Journal of Medicine where the Mediterranean or uh, an Egyptian um, immigrant um, was suspected of bladder cancer and um, or had a growing mass in the bladder and um, a biopsy showed this organism enlargement showing the egg. Diagnosis based on history is very important. Bathing in fresh water in an area where it is uh, endemic. Symptoms will be in the case of um, uh, Mansonite and Japonicum, diarrhea and um, GI um, symptoms. Um, the, the, and one would find eggs in the stool in the case of Schistosoma Mansonite and Schistosoma Japonicum, whereas one will find um, the eggs in the stool in the case of Schistosoma hematobium. And they have got their characteristic eggs, and I'll put all three of them so that you can compare. The Schistosoma hematobium is oval, and it has a spine here at the tip. Schistosoma mansoni uh, um, has got a similar structure oval, but has a spine here at the side. And um, um, Schistosoma japonicum egg is more roundish, not as oblong, uh, and it does not, may or may not have a prominent um, spine either at the side or at the tip. Okay, so the presence of the spine is not really a characteristic feature of um, Schistosoma japonicum. The way I give a tip to that uh, hematobium has got a T in it, so it is, has got a spine at the tip. Schistosoma mansoni has got an S in it, and it is going to be mansoni side, and Japanicum is the third one by default. Okay, and here is a true New England Journal of Medicine case. Uh, Eight-year-old son of an Egyptian immigrant family is referred to the nephrology clinic with two-year history of painless macroscopic hematuria. A smear of the centrifuge urine sample revealed this object. Right away, you've got the, from the history and from the um, symptoms and the egg shape, you can deduce it's just a soma hematobium. Okay, I'll just finish a couple of minutes, it's just a Soms, and then you can study the rest of it on your own time. Um, the treatment is praziquantel. There was some reports that it may develop resistance to it, but then later reports showed that there is no resistance really to the drug in these organisms, at least yet. So praziquantel is still effective. Avoiding swimming into infested waters is the preventive measure and san a sanitary disposal of the sewage as well that w so that it does not perpetuate itself. The elimination of the snails is a very sort of important 
um, step towards eliminating or controlling this particular infection. Snails are a common link to all flatworms, all of them. Okay? So be it schistosomes or be it um, the, um, the opistarchus or um, the others, and there's a typical environment in which the, there will be um, a risk of acquiring schistosomal infection. Okay, I'll stop here, read the rest of it. There's not uh, anything but um, very straightforward reading. And if you want to go through the PowerPoint, it is on the web. And in addition, if you want to, if you have any problems or questions, email me, and I'll be happy to.